This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Worried about your breast cancer risks but feel that you're too young to start mammograms? A new no-risk screening tool could tell your doctor whether or not you have precancerous changes years before a tumor develops. Doing okay so far? Yeah. All right. Every single woman that comes into my office is at risk for breast cancer, regardless of their age. And now there's a new tool that promises to identify high-risk women as early as possible. Doctors believe in most women. Breast cancer has normally been present anywhere from 5 to 10 years before it's diagnosed. And long before that, we can see changes in the milk duct. Changes that can't be seen on x-rays. Burbank breast surgeon Dr. Diana Atai says for most women, mammograms don't start until around 40. They're not great at spotting trouble in younger, dense breasts. And some women don't want premature exposure to even its low-dose radiation. But no screening is not an option for 29-year-old Maggie Mollett. Ten years ago... I had a tumor at 19. It turned out to be benign, so... My doctor said, wait till you're 30 before you start doing mammograms. But Maggie's just discovered a new lump. Still a year out from her first scheduled mammogram, she decided to try a new radiation-free screening tool. It is analogous to a pap smear of the breast. It's called the HALO test. A very minimally invasive way of finding out information that prior to this we could only find out through surgery or through other invasive techniques. The suction cups on this machine heat and massage the breasts, then attempt to draw fluid from the nipples. If you do produce fluid, we will send that off to the lab to be analyzed, just like we would send off your pap smear every year. A little bit of fluid on this side. Dr. Atai says abnormal cells found in the fluid are an indication of abnormalities inside the milk ducts something called atypical hyperplasia, which we know puts women at a much higher risk for developing a breast cancer. Dr. Atai says a positive test does not mean you have breast cancer, but in young women who do have a positive result. I may recommend that she get a mammogram, an ultrasound, or even an MRI on a more regular basis and probably earlier than we would normally start screening her because I know she's at higher risk. Maggie says her history of early breast lumps already had her on guard. She's doing the HALO test to get... Just knowledge. If it comes back clear, then that's great. And another year we'll do it again. But if it doesn't, why not start early? HALO testing runs about $200. It's usually not covered by insurance. Dr. Atai recommends it anyway because with no risk and no pain, it helps her answer a perplexing question. Who needs additional imaging like an MRI? Or who is okay with our regular once a year follow-up? This test allows me to help sort that out. Dr. Atai adds halo testing is not a replacement for mammogram and women who would normally get them. Like information, we have that on our website. Here it is, myfoxla.com.